And now, <laughs> that's a double. Sorry, please don't be another. <laughs> Why am I being tortured like this? No. <laughs> Ew. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to read this in <laughs> Okay, um, righty. Apparently I'm reading Legends and Lattes. up and welcome back to another reading vlog today i will be reading the last books for the spookoplathon so strap in because it's a wild ride i thought i was going to skip the doubles this year and unfortunately the doubles caught me very close to the end but before we dive into the vlog let me just tell you a little bit about the books that i read i first read a grumpy witch's guide to finding love by cyan Schroeder. that <laughs> you know as a south african i struggle with that surname but anyway, this is about a grumpy witch who has just been kicked out of her coven and she is down in the dumps and she's not interested in anyone, she's not looking for love. Love comes unexpectedly in the sunshiny werewolf kind of guy who is just uh, the sweetest puppy and he just lights up her life basically. And he teaches her that love isn't always just from, say for example, finding it from your partner, it's also coming from friends and family. The next book I read is Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. The, I finally get to this book. I'm not going to explain what it is about uh, because I think everyone knows it's about what it's about. It's a cozy fantasy. I have seen so much rants and raves about this book so you know go in blind with this book I think yeah. Then the next book I read is Our Wives Under the Sea. This is about a woman who comes back from the sea after she was reported missing for like six months she comes back to her wife but her wife complains that she is not the same person she was before she went on this expedition and you know strange things start to happen with leah and mary is just like i i don't know what's happening she tries to go for therapy and that doesn't work couples therapy she tries to call the institute where leah was employed and she's getting no answer and just strange curious weird things continue to happen um and then the last book i read was a spindle splintered by alex e horror and this is a retelling of sleeping beauty but in a twisty kind of way let me send you back about a week when i started this video i wanted to do like a weekly book up or something but it's just been so busy that i didn't get a chance so we're just getting week one and week two and you know whatever it's the best i could have done <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to continue on from where we left off last week, which was a mood read. And I'm just going to get the dice roller ready, because I keep forgetting to do that. And then I am going to roll and see where we land on. A five. So we were at mood read. One, two, three, four, five. A community shelf. Right, so I got a list of TBL prompts on Storygraph because my brain is too frazzled to think of any TBL prompts. <laughs> like, it just doesn't want to. If I remember, I'll just link it down below. But it's got like 30 prompts on it. I know you're supposed to only have just 16, but 30 is the best. So I picked, I got the number generator. <laughs> Let me just angle it quickly. And then I'm going to generate and it said 9. So let's see what number 9 is. It is a book with a pretty cover. Okay, okay, I can do that. I think I'm gonna go with A Grumpy Witch's Guide to Finding Love. This is by a South African author. It's like a cozy, witchy book about this girl who obviously is a witch in modern times and she's very closed off from other people. Like, she only has one friend, she lives in the scruffy apartment, and you know, she's just trying to make ends meet. She's just trying to do things with her life so i think that's what i'm going to pick up i just need something easy to start off this reading because it's it's a lot <laughs> this is exciting okay hopefully this goes by fast because i've been dragging my feet with other books and i just i i just want to be done with some books because i'm so tired of them <laughs> anyway uh let's jump into this vlog i was planning on making myself an iced coffee but <laughs> 
I'm so hungry that I think I'm going to be eating first before just starting to eat iced coffee, starting to eat iced coffee, starting to drink iced coffee because I know I will drink the coffee first and then I'll be even more shaky than I am now. So then, then, then I am now. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to make me some food and then later I will make myself an iced coffee and then we can jump into the book. I decided to make myself a slushie instead. It is so warm, but they say it's going to rain um, in about an hour. It doesn't look like it at all. There's clouds, but the clouds aren't, how can I say, ominous or even bearing a hint of, oh, it might even rain. So, um, yeah, slushy for me. I literally just chucked in ice. I have this mango juice. So, threw in ice, the bit of mango juice, and I just blinged it together. <laughs> so, now I'm hooked on this, and I'm thinking, hey, I should get other fruit juices and do this as well. The problem is, I cannot produce a lot of ice, like, back to back to back. I have three ice trays, and if I use all three during the day, it's going to take a few hours before I get more ice. So, it would be nice to have an ice machine. But anyway, that's not the problem. Um, I am busy finishing a buddy read with my bestie and then I'm going to dive into a grumpy witch's guide to fake dating or to dating, something along those lines. <laughs> going to try and make this as quick as possible because the battery is dying so <laughs> I don't even know what my hair is doing I think it's because I had the fan on in front of me yeah um so I got to 64% of this is such a long ass title a grumpy witch's guide to something <laughs> and I'm really enjoying it it's very short and very simple it's that cozy fantasy kind of feel that you want the problem is just the main character like i know she's grumpy she's like very grumpy but she's grumpy grumpy she doesn't trust anyone she doesn't want to rely on anyone and even though people are nice to her she's just like no i'm going to stay grumpy i don't want to have to do anything with anyone kind of feels and that just grinded my gears a bit but luckily you know she how can i say she thawed a bit so she's quite better at 64%. And now we're getting into that point where it's almost the third act breakup. And I'm just like, what is going to happen? I have no premonition of what is going to happen. There might be a miscommunication. It's usually a miscommunication trope. So, uh, but yeah, really enjoying it. I think I'm going to be finishing it today, which is great. And then we can jump to the next book, which will hopefully also be a very short book. I don't even know what I have in store or in my mind, what we can read next. I think if I continue on this pace, it's going to be a good reading vlog, <laughs> which I haven't had in quite a while, so. I think I'm reaching the point where there's going to be like a breakup because <laughs> my Kindle gonna pick up. The headline says the headline. <laughs> I've been working too long. Uh, the the chapter heading says N what? Never trust a werewolf, and I'm like, okay, yeah, because something seriously happened, like bad serious and he has like a week to fix his issues and he's not telling her anything and I'm like, dude, talk. Please, for some apparent reason, I wish romance books never had a third act breakup. But then there's like this no good feeling of coming together, you know? So I don't know how I feel about it. I want, and I want the, the breakup to be there. And I want the miscommunication trope not to exist sometimes. <laughs> but it is what it is, I guess. But I am enjoying this book so far. So far it's reading like a four star for me. It's cozy. It's what you want to read in October, basically. But it doesn't give me that five-star feel. Like, I'm not overly obsessed with this book. 
I, South African obsessed, I might be. But this one is also the first fantasy I've read that isn't soul crushing. <laughs> There was this one point where I don't know why it's so cringy when when you have like a guy best friend and you talk about, you know, sleeping with your crush or finally sleeping with your crush. Why is it always such an awkward encounter? Because let me just read you the sentence. Zoe finally got together with, what's his face? <laughs> I've been reading this book for like two days. Daniel. Okay, so Lewis, her best friend, asks her, so how was it? And she said, it was so good. And he high-fived her, and he's like, nice, you deserve it. Why was that so cringy? Like, no. <laughs> Ew. Just, I don't know. The, I feel like there's a better way to go about it. Like, don't have that conversation in the book. I don't know. It, is it just a me thing? Could be. I'm close to being done. I'm at 81% and apparently say about 55 minutes of this book later. Live reactions. <laughs> just just for this chapter and maybe the ending. But yeah. No, I don't don't touch it. right now she she has this this woe is me kind of effect like everyone always hurts me it is and i'm just like okay maybe you should choose better i get where she's coming from like yeah past mistakes have happened so that it does end up like it feels like everyone hurts you but i don't know it's whatever whatever we know what was going to happen. We knew it. The third eye breakup is always obvious, so we knew it. <laughs> Again, miscommunication. I did it. I finished the book. It was such a cute read. I enjoyed it so much. Um, but yeah, I'm giving it four and a half out of five stars. It was cute. And I really love, like, the, how can I say, the found family in this. I'm also very excited for the second book. I think it's a standalone in a series, so you can read the next one without reading this one. But... The next one is only coming out in 2025. But yeah, really proud of a fellow South African because damn, that was that was a very interesting book. It did feel a bit rushed kind of at the end. Like after the third act breakup, there was also a battle <laughs> that happened. And I was like, whoa, okay. Um, so we, we're going down. We're getting down to business to defeat the haunts. <laughs> but anyway, um, I haven't eaten yet. So I don't know. My energy is like, it's spiraling. Anyway, I don't know where we're going to be reading next so let me set up the spookopathon board and the die and everything and yeah let's just plan ahead what we will be reading okay so we were at community shelf right over here <sighs> don't ask just accept it i'm going to be rolling again rolling the die six luckily it's not a double okay so no <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling where I'm going to be landing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I thought it's this book. The the big book one. Because I usually get that every single damn time. Highest rated. Which means I have to go on Goodreads on my TBR and check which one is the highest rated. Okay, I'll be with you now. <laughs> I have an Everand TBR list and I have a Kindle Unlimited TBR list. So do I want to be listening to a book or do I want to read a book? Let's go to the Everand list and then we go highest rated. Where is the highest rated? Average rating. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> righty. Apparently I'm reading Legends and Lattes. And I have been wanting to read that book, but at the same time I'm scared because I'm scared it's not going to be my favorite. I have a very hit or miss with cozy fantasies. What better way to read it than in October? Legends and Lattes it is. Let me just quickly move it to my currently reading pile. Okay, this, this is... Yay! <laughs> 
But first, I need to go get me some food because I'm really hungry. Um, I did boil some eggs, but I'm also looking for something cold to drink. I should probably get all the, the dishes out of my uh, study. This is such a flattering angle anyway, and then I'm going to be making food. I'm thinking of just like a, a egg toasted sandwich effect but still not really in the mood for bread i also have cucumbers and carrots so maybe have like a adult snack bowl yeah maybe i should do that the vibes are very yellow and orange but i think this is going to be enjoyable i also had like this piece of cucumber left <laughs> so i was like yeah why not use it and then some mango juice what a day what a day i'm 15 percent so far into legends and lattes and um you know i can't say a lot it's giving cozy vibes the problem is just that i just want a bit a bit more right now i am enjoying viv's attitude towards the solicitor you know where he comes in he's like oh you have to pay a monthly stipend and she's like good of you to expect that from me but i'm not gonna do it and the way she just treats him shows that she's not scared of him and that's it's hilarious, I like it. But yeah, I also should have sat like this the whole day because I don't know if you can hear the fan. The fans, like, every time it comes towards me, my fringe that I'm trying to grow out just flops in front of my face and then I'm like, slowly getting annoyed. If this is probably a five star read, I might get the physical copy later on. I'm debating about it. Because right now, I don't feel like I need books. I'm trying to use money wisely currently because we need to paint this place and um, yeah it's it's going to be a bit costly <laughs> because I want to paint each room the same color obviously but I want to paint the rooms and um, yeah I think it's gonna cost a lot my husband also said you're not gonna paint it alone I'm like oh you're gonna paint it because you're not gonna like it he doesn't like painting I do but probably after this I won't <laughs> I don't know. It's all up in the cards right now because uh, we're not sure if we can paint. I'm sure we can because our neighbors' wall colors are very different. I too would paint this color a very different color, but because we've been renting for like two years now, we didn't. We couldn't change anything. I mean, unless we asked the owner, but now she's selling it, so we were just like, since we're buying it, I'm changing it. <laughs> anyway, so I'm also sporting a very nice headache, and I have to mentally prepare myself to make food tonight i don't know what we're gonna eat probably i don't know chicken and rice yeah i think we should make chicken and rice or maybe i, I don't have cheese i was gonna say we should make mac and cheese <laughs> i don't have cheese i'll go make food now Just, i'm still busy with something <laughs> howdy um okay you're very scared <laughs> anyway i am so tired but that's not the point. I am 60% in Legends and Lattes. I can't remember if I mentioned this yesterday, but I wanted more of a high stakes book. So I was actually debating on DNFing this because, well, not like hard DNF, a soft DNF, and maybe read it, I don't know, sometime or another uh, at the end of the week, more like a cozy Halloween thing. But anyway, I stuck it through and I'm so happy I did. I'm really enjoying this book. I know a lot of people were talking about how cozy it was, but I think not a lot of people talked about the, the found family that was found in the story. It is so cute. I really love Cal and Tandri as well. She gives me those vibes of a, of a friend that they will tell you the truth whether you want it or not, and you just have to deal with it because they care about you, and that's why they're telling you this truth. And then... Thimble as well. <laughs> he's kind of cute. I, I don't know how to picture him in my head, but he's really cute. Like a small rat with an apron kind of thing. I think we're getting to the, the twist now where they might pay the extortionist or they're not going to pay. I don't know. I have no thoughts of what's going to happen as we go forward, but I'm ready to end it. <laughs> not in a bad way. Like I'm, I'm ready to see what is going to happen. And then maybe later I will... I don't know, read Bookshops and Bone Dust. I know that's actually like a prequel. You know, I just thought, hey, maybe I should just read Legends and Lattes. And the fact that it is the highest rated <laughs> on my TV. I was like, wow, okay. So yeah, I will be getting myself a coffee because your my eyes don't want to stay open. I woke up this morning and they just felt so poofy. Now, I don't know if it's because I had too much sleep or I had too little sleep or 
what is happening i'm gonna make myself a coffee finish the last 40 percent of legends and lattes i think i have like an hour and 30 minutes left of the book because i'm listening to it i'm not reading it but i do have the physical uh, not, not the physical but the kindle version with me what i'm expecting is things to just work out fine like viv keeps stressing about this stone that she put in and the coffee place is also built on a ley line and there's this person who's studying the ley lines and he keeps on going to the coffee shop and she keeps on stressing that things might go wrong and i'm just like no nah, i think everything will work out fine i don't know the descriptions of what coffee is and what lattes are especially um in the beginning when cal said it's bean juice <laughs> And then bean juice with milk. That was quite funny. I'm ready for some action now. So hopefully the next roll will be something that I can use. Because there's a book that I have to read for. That is due for the 7th of November. And it's slowly approaching. But I also want to reread the first book. Before I jump into it. So we'll see if the dais is going to be in my favour. And if it's not, I'm going to be panicking. <laughs> well, six days is quite enough to read the other book. I'm thinking. I don't know. Anyway, um, that's not your problem. That's my problem. So let's just continue with the day. Okay, I finished Legends and Lattes. I really enjoyed it. I was wrong to say that nothing can go wrong because it's a cozy fantasy. I don't know where I got that idea from, but things did go wrong a bit in the end. It's really one of those cozy fantasies that I think I might reread you know, like for if I'm feeling slumpy or if I just want something cozy to get back into, it's almost like a comfort read. Usually The Hunger Games is a comfort read for me. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's a wild trilogy, but that was a comfort read. So I think I'm adding Legends and Lattes to my list. I would really like to read Bookshops and Bone Dust as well. As I said, no, no, but just later. Not now. I'm giving it four and a half out of five stars. It's it doesn't have that five star feeling for me i don't think i will forget the premise of it because it's so unique but i just think it's not something i would constantly obsess over like i would recommend it to you for sure but it's it's not on the level of me constantly obsessing constantly being like oh i wonder if i'm this character or kind of you know how people are obsessed with akato and quicksilver and all that i don't know why i'm justifying myself it's four and a half out of five stars <laughs> Even a 4.75 if you want to go like quarter stars. Yeah, around there. Anyway, so I have already set up the board. I just need to go get the dice roller and then we can see what the next pick is going to be. I don't know if I should zoom in. Don't think I should. But anyway, let's... Uh, I'm doing this. You can still see it, but it's just that if I do this, it reflects on the outside. And I don't think anyone would enjoy that. And I... And I... Oh! <laughs> That's a double. Uh, no! I can't believe it's a double. Okay. So we landed on highest rated. So one, I'm assuming this counts for one. Yeah? One, two, three, four. Oh, that's good. A small book. So a book under 300 pages. Let me just write this down because I might forget it. All right. I can't believe. Sorry, please don't be another. <laughs> Why am I being tortured like this? Is that another? It's another double. It's another double. I don't know. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Bonfire. Uh, please let it be the last roll. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and that one is a book that has kind of like a bone color on it. I'm going to have to look. Why? Why on the last week was the dice going to be like, hey, um, I've got some thoughts. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I sat for about half an hour trying to figure out what I'm going to read. I'm going to go with Our Wives Under the Sea. I don't know much about it. All I know is about this woman who went to sea and... Excuse the dogs. The woman went to sea and when her wife... Oh, well, when she came back to her wife, her wife noticed that she was acting a bit weird. So that is going to fulfill the prompt for small book because it's 200 and something pages. And also for bone on the cover because the color of the woman's skin uh, looks like bone, you know. And then the other one I'm going to read, I went through my TBR list and for bonfire it said... 
a book that you want you think you want a dna for you unsure you're gonna like and for that i'm going to choose uh spindle splintered by alexi horror i read starting house by this author sometime this year and i really enjoyed it so i'm not sure if i'm going to be liking this but it also is very helpful because it's 118 pages and i think once i'm done with these two books i can call this vlog done because that, that that's a lot of books <laughs> maybe that'll be that if i have time i might read the perfect couple because that also has like a bone color cover but i'm not sure yet i'm gonna look see how i feel and everything because i also want to do kind of like a 24 hour reading thing for like halloween on the 31st and that might take some time away from the books like just reading scary books or just reading stephen king because i am a stephen king version that sounds wrong i've never read stephen king there we go <laughs> So yeah, maybe do that. Anyway, I think I'm going to start with Our Wives Under the Sea because I was really excited about that book when I saw it was on Everend. So I'm going to be diving into that and see how we fare. And then, yeah, let's, let's get this rolling. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this book is somewhat intriguing, but at the same time I'm like, okay. The only thing I care about now is Leah is explaining what happened while the submarine sank. And I'm assuming we're going to get a reason as to why she's acting so weird or why Murray or something keeps saying like she has these things around her and she throws up water whenever and she, I don't know, she just acts weird and it's, it's odd but at the same time I'm like okay. Not in a boring sense, in a sense of I want to know what's going on. Murray, yeah, Murray. <laughs> She's very, not as supportive as you would think a wife would be. Like, I get where she's coming from. It's very hard to be supportive to a person who is not who they were. And it's just, I don't know, things things are just so weird right now. And I am really interested to hear what's happening or what is the reason behind it. And I don't know, is it is it a horror? Yeah, it's a horror. Oh wow, look at me, I'm reading a horror. <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know how I feel about it. Right now it's like sounding like a three-star. There's not imagery that makes me go, ew. It's more of an imagery that makes me go, huh, never thought of that. There's also a lot of information regarding, um, how can I say, sea life and all of that kind of thing. So it is entertaining, but I'm also bored. Like I want to know what's wrong. The only reason why I'm continuously listening is because I want to know what happened. Oh, I also didn't think I said I'm on chapter 12. Um, I'm gonna lie to you if I say it's probably like 30% right now. I don't know. Oh, 28%. So it's almost 30% that I'm into this book. So. everyone <laughs> i kind of just woke up so yeah <laughs> i hate to say this i mm, do not understand the hype around our wives under the sea i <laughs> i get that it's about grief and all that sorts of things horror to me at this point is it's scary it's something that evokes you know like not that i want <laughs> anxiety in me but like it evokes anxiety and your stress and your nibbling your nails and all of that thing and it didn't happen to me i wanted more of 
Leah's like where they go under the sea and they are stuck against something. It kind of gave the idea that they were, you know, like they hit an octopus, like those giant octop octopi. <laughs> and this thing just got stuck. I don't know. Because that is what the ending gave the feeling to me. The monster with the one eye. I mean, or the creature. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, giving it one star, I didn't feel scared. I just felt annoyed most of the time, you know. And for everyone who likes it, I'm really happy for you. I'm glad you get the, the story behind it. But I just don't thrive with it. Maybe it's because I'm not a horror person. But I wanted more of why the ocean was scary or I don't know maybe she turned into a mermaid or something I don't know something creepy but it it just it fell flat for me so now we're going to do a spindle splinted okay I was right I was like it was a spindle something so we're gonna dive into that now that's probably just going to take me an hour and then we can close out this vlog okay <laughs> yay <laughs> camera just fell <laughs> that was not funny okay um anyway i'm done with a spindle splintered i think i finished about an hour ago i've just been busy around the house getting things ready getting snacks because i'm hungry i'm starting that shaky sensation where you get super hungry and then you can't you know like function for a few minutes um anyway so put that away <laughs> Yeah, I finished. I'm giving it four stars. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the, the the spin on the fairy tale. That was rather entertaining as well as the fact that how you should save yourself and not pity yourself if something, you know, happens to you. You should still live, a, live your life to the best of your abilities. And yeah, that was, it was a cute story. I like it. Um, Sorry, I had to scratch my eye there. I think with that, I'm going to call this vlog successful and call it an end because yeah, I read four books, did some good book stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the video next week. Bye.